I know I haven't posted anything on this channel and let me explain myself. I have like one little smidge from this benefit pencil. I like using everything until it's like completely gone. That's just what I do. So I'm just gonna slightly fill in. It might be good enough for like one brow. Who knows? It might fill in both brows because a little does go a long way. So I haven't been posting on here and I'll be 100% honest. I'm trying to balance everything out that I'm doing in life. I love YouTube. YouTube is actually my favorite platform, but to be quite honest, a lot of people are on TikTok and Instagram. Like I get way more traction on Instagram and TikTok. Um, everybody talks crap about Instagram, but that's where like I get the most traction. I love my YouTube so much because it's like not surface and you guys know me and they're not like super quick videos, right? Um, yes, I'm still working on Sisters by Choice. You guys, I only got like a couple emails. Um, so I need more for me to do like a full like episode thing. And I know like this is something that I started, but if anything, I can do like an intro video. Like I already have enough for like one episode, but I need more for like a second episode. Uh, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go check out that last video where I said Sisters by Choice. It, it'll be called Sisters by Choice, like my new series, because I think you can really develop into something really great. I, I'm all over the place along with going with emotions. I actually never announced that my mom has dementia. Uh, on my Instagram and a lot of people didn't know because like I said a lot of people are not here on YouTube And I already announced to you guys like a while ago um, Everything that's been going on and I just had like a breakdown because like the other day She's you know, it's been like up and down like if you guys are familiar with dementia It's like they call it like the long a lot of people say it's the longest goodbye. It is it is such a mind F It's a horrible disease. It's like so emotionally draining, you have no idea. And I am so damn thankful for my freaking therapy because that's what I look forward to every single week. It is like, that's a highlight of my week, which may sound very depressing, but honestly, it is amazing because I'm healing so well. Um, I also just got some fresh ass Botox because I actually really like Botox, but I never keep up. And I'm in this stage of, I just got it, three days ago so it doesn't settle until like two weeks but it starts hitting right away um so it's like part of it's like not activated here which is why i can kind of do like the rock and then part of it is like already there and i honestly just told her because i've just been crying like you know and getting emotional i said you know what freeze me up and i'm honest with you guys i don't give a damn i i do like botox i just i don't keep up you know how some people go like every three to four months I go like once a year. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, freeze me up. But the last time I did it was like end of November. So technically this was the first time in, when's the first time I started Botox? Maybe five years ago? Five years, five, six years ago that I've ever been consistent ever. <laughs> like first time in, in ever. I know I won't get addicted, but I don't wanna be like super on it where I need to have it. Plus I do want my muscles to go back in place and I'm not trying to like, do a low-key paralyzation to myself <laughs> because that's what you're doing you know they're toxins botulism toxin hello I know but but yeah so I got it nice and fresh and I feel good I like Botox like I said I also did for the very first time injection so it's natural and I don't want to do filler underneath my eyes I've already done like research on that and that shit scares me honestly and um I did gummy smile because I have a super, super gummy smile. So when I smile, it's, oh, I have a little bit of pepper. Sorry. I made some very short ribs earlier. Mm, got it out with like a corner of a mask. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. But yeah, um, I did a lip flip because I have a very gummy smile. It's all gums. I've always been like that since a kid and I've done it before, but I just decided just to try it again. And then I also did a lip flip where they take my natural... Well, they take my lip and they just put Botox so that it flips my natural lip up. So it looks a little bit more full. If you guys are noticing that, it's not lip filler. I will never do lip filler ever again. Watch me get it next time. No, I've only tried it one time and that was over a year and a half ago. And I don't know. Um, it was okay. Like I liked it, but it. I have naturally full lips anyhow. So I just felt like I didn't need it. So then I said, let me just try a lip flip. This is like my second time getting it. I got one like a long time ago when it first started becoming popular, but it only lasts like one to two months, which is why I don't really care for it. But I was like, yeah, let's just try it just for fun, you know? Let's see if I actually like it. And um, 
I don't know. Like I said, I feel like my natural lips are already like full. But you guys know I always keep it 100 with you. But yeah, that's all I did. Lip flip, gummy smile. I'm like this, that, this, that. Um, under eye, take your blood and all that. And just, 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 just centrifuge. Okay. And then um, Botox up here. Um, but yeah, uh, what else was I going to say? So today is a day where I'm going to be updating you on, I guess, part one of, or cheese made part one, telling you the cheese. If you guys haven't seen that, then go check it out. L'Oreal powder. And I've just been setting my concealer with a more skin tone just to kind of, you know, give me a nice blank canvas going through some stuff, you know, with, I've, I've just been trying to figure everything out. You guys, um, Patrick tall. Major Dimension 2. It's a rose gold one. I'm obsessed with this. Um, I've been trying to figure everything out because honestly, as time goes by, you know, and as you get older, you just like realize what's really, really worth it. So if you guys don't know, I did meet up with my birth father. When I posted that video, I actually already met up with him. It's just that I posted that video late. And I will tell you right now, I'm like so analytical and I get pretty picky with some stuff uh, because I'm going to use a Buxom... What is this called? I really like it though. It is called the Big O. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> it's the Big O Power Plump. <laughs> Lord knows I do not need any more Power Plump, but I like it. It moisturizes my lips. And I met up with him and I'm very like picky with certain things. So obviously when you're meeting someone for the very first time, you're just like so nervous, right? Especially like a birth father that you have zero relationship with and you haven't even had a one-on-one -on -one since he came out of jail. Um, and it's just like, we've never had like a talk, a discussion, nothing since he's been out. So it's just been like, so, you know, I was just like so nervous because I wasn't really sure how he was going to be because when he first came out, I will tell you the cockiness was there. Um, very different, you know, he may not admit it, but obviously everybody sees different point of views. Um, and that's okay. You know, um, I did not care for the person that he was when he came out and I didn't like a lot of things that were happening when he came out. A lot of crazy stuff still continuing. It's just like, oh my gosh, when is it ever going to stop? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm just going to put my tart underneath. And right away, um, I was just nervous because like I said, we've just never talked since him being out. So he was actually um, 17 minutes late. Yes, I was counting. And that's how I am because I think, okay, if you have it, um, if you haven't had like that one-on-one, -on -one, obviously you're, it's basically like a first impression. Okay. It's like we were on a, I don't want to say date cause that's freaking weird, but you know what I mean? Like a first impression of, I mean, whether I want to say yes or no, he is my birth father at the end of the day. I'm trying to make sure my mic is okay because the last couple of videos, it's been weird. Testing, 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 testing. So obviously it's like a first impression, right? So I would think like, okay, the decency is to like be on time because I picked a location that is in the middle of both of us and it wasn't too far, you know, or out of our way. It was like very convenient. It was a place that was just like 15 to 20 minutes at the most for us and plenty of parking, all that. So I already was like upset he was late, right? And no lie, I almost left and I was so close and I was just thinking to myself, don't do that because that's something that you're really good at doing. Just like stepping away, walking away. And I've always called myself a magician. If you guys don't know, I'm a disappearing act. The second that you do me wrong, like, but I have reason, you know, I'm not just disappearing just to disappear. But the second you do me wrong or you just, you're just not loyal or whatever, poof, I am gone. I am literally a magician and you will never see or hear from me ever again. And that's just how I roll. And it is a obviously a mechanism to protect my own self and all that. And, you know, all my abandonment issues that my therapist says that I have and all that. Um, but I almost left and I told myself, okay, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to heal. Let me not just leave, you know, because that's like the easy road too. Like, all right, bye. And also that's not going to solve anything. It's not going to help heal anything. It's not going to help anything in itself. And honestly, the way that I move is in a way to, for my mom, you know, I always think, how would my mom want me to be? What will help my mom? Everything I do is for my mom. And you guys know, I've literally lived my life for my mom. Um, so I was just thinking of that as well. Um, and I'm just going to put just a little bit more right there. And I met up with him and it was actually very, 
nice. It was a great meeting. We had very nice discussion. We actually had a really good time. He's a very pleasant person. Uh, very different than when he first came out, which relieved me right away. Uh, just very understanding. Um, I, I was put at ease right away. I didn't feel uncomfortable. And it felt really nice to finally have someone hear my side, my point of view, and things that have happened within like our family and stuff. And obviously, you know, tell him and fill in all the gaps of things that have been happening. Uh, he was not aware of a lot of things, a lot of things that were told to me and all of that. And I figured it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> like, who is ever going to, you know, talk about the wrong things that they said to someone, especially your own family, right? Uh, and yeah, and it felt really good just to get it off my chest. And he was like, wow, I didn't know all that stuff. And yeah, I told him about a lot of things that happened even while he was in, while he came out, and also currently within like the last couple of years and the situation. And it felt great, you know? It felt really good. And one thing I will say is I just feel so good because when you go through things, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, when you go through things like with your family or any type of situation, you know, period, with friends or whatever, it feels so good knowing that someone has also witnessed it with you because you become numb to certain things that are told to you, are done, um, or just how a family is, you know, like say for instance, my family, we're not very close. Like for holidays, we don't get together and do the whole Easter dinner. We've never gotten together and just, oh, we're all going to plan Christmas, Christmas together. Oh, since you came to this person's house, let's all go to this person's house. Never. We have never done it. Um, we don't really have traditions. Actually, we have zero traditions. Um, that's one thing I also realized right away. Just like a lot of things since I started therapy, because obviously I get ask a lot of these questions and she would ask like what's something that your family does together that's a tradition and I'm literally literally sat there and you would think I could name like one or two and you know when I told her <laughs> which was so sad I said we get together randomly for some holidays sometimes it won't be on the holiday but it'll be like a week before maybe two weeks after or two weeks before and we'll have dinner <laughs> If that, and that is it. My family, it, it's just, we're all very separated. And whether someone watches this video or gets pissed or whatever, it is what it is. Let's not live a lie. You know what I mean? Like, enough. Everybody's grown as hell. <laughs> and and so, like I said, it felt really good just to, like, talk to him. And f I finally felt like someone was on the same page as me. And I was just in shock. Um, even my therapist called it. She's like, you know, he's probably changed a lot, blah, blah, blah. And he has, it's totally different. Like I said, he's very enjoyable. Um, we had some laughs. I definitely cried. I didn't feel uncomfortable crying in front of him. I love these elf blushes. A little goes a long way. This one is in the shade. I'll link everything down below. Coming in hot pink. I'm just going to mix a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, someone asked me on my story, oh, what shade blush is that? Because I got like another one. It's like a light peach. And I'm like, oh, it's a corrector. It's a blush. My ass thought I picked up a corrector. It's a blush. But yeah, we're going pinky. And what am I doing today? Going to the gym because I like wearing makeup to the gym and that's what makes me happy. And that's my main goal, doing everything that makes me happy. Protecting my peace, protecting my energy. And honestly, I have been healing so well. Like even my therapist the other day, she said I was going to make her cry because she couldn't believe like how well I'm doing and like taking negatives and turning them into positives. I even told her, told her like, oh yeah, I want to do like a sister's by choice. And I told her everything and, and what I want to do with it. You know, you turn all those negative situations into a positive, you know. Um, if you don't know, I was told I'm not a blood sister and I'm nothing but a granddaughter and um, they've been dying to tell me this for years and yeah, basically that. So that's where I kind of like took the idea of, you know what I mean? Like we all have like family, but like you may not have that connection or be close or you have maybe your only sibling or maybe you have at least like a close best friend, but you just have certain questions you just can't ask. We all have like that, you know, kind of limit where you feel embarrassed sometimes. Unfortunately, we just don't have that person. So that's why I wanted to start this whole entire, entire like series. I think I said podcast series, which I want to turn it eventually into a podcast, maybe. Um, sisters by choice, because we all choose who we want in our life and we choose who's our sister. We choose our family who may not necessarily be blood, but like, 
like my best friends and all that and their families and all that are family to Glenn and I. They take us in. We're always there for holidays, like for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. Like I'm so thankful for them and they don't make us feel awkward. It's just like something I've always wanted to experience and like I cook for all of them and they're so appreciative and we all come together and contribute, you know, and that's something like my family has never done and it's just what it is and it's okay, you know what I mean? Like everybody's different, but we're definitely not close. We're very, very separated. Now within all these years of vlogging and all that, that's probably why you didn't really see um, them in the vlogs and stuff because it's not like we all got together. You know how when you see those vloggers are like, oh my gosh, my whole family's coming over for Christmas. You never really like saw that, right? Like it was like always not Christmas time. There was maybe like one or two times during the holidays, but it was just always off, you know? I'm just gonna do a little bit of the It Cosmetics liner. I, I've i been on a brown liner kick, but all my brown liners are low. So I like wearing liner to the gym. So I don't, I'm. this is actually like me rationing off my brown liner. So I don't wanna waste it. So I have lots of black liners, but brown, I'm running low. And the Sephora sale's coming up, so I wanna make sure I grab a couple of faves. But yeah, so um, I told him everything. I got everything off my chest. Um, he didn't know about like a lot of things that have happened, even just like personal things that I can't really say on here. Well, not that I can't say it, but I also just, I wanna have respect for my mom. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I don't wanna just like spill everything. But yeah, like a lot of things that have happened. Um, and he was in shock, you know, like say for instance, like here, I'll say one thing, like I had a 90th birthday for my mom. And I was actually, and like I said, if someone sees this video and they get upset, like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like that's what it was. Like who cares? That's what happened. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and we had, well, I had a 90th birthday. Um, Glenn and I hired um, some ladies and we had like tacos made, burritos, quesadillas, like all my friends came and whoever can make it that knew my mom. I was a little disappointed, I won't lie, because a lot of people canceled last minute. So it was a little bit frustrating because obviously you pay for like a certain amount of people too. But in the end, I was so happy because there was like barely any leftovers. But it was more like the sense of I was sad because that people um, canceled last minute um, and gave kind of like bullshit excuses, you know, or just like, I don't know, you know, just things that I was just like, really? Like, you really? I, I, I Whatever, you know what I mean? It is, like I said, I keep saying it is what it is, you know, just accept it. Um, and it made me sad because I knew that was going to be like one of my mom's last birthdays, like in my house where it felt like she was going to be able to last for, for like a good amount of time without being too stressed, overwhelmed, kind of spiking, you know what I mean? Emotions, because I want to make sure that she's comfortable, you know? I said he could come, like my birth father. I was like, well, everybody should be there. This is for like my mom's birthday. I would never, I'm not the type of person to make someone feel uncomfortable in my own home. Like, why would I invite someone? You know, like that's her child. That's her kid. That's her son at the end of the day. Why would I say, oh no, he's, he can't be come or whatever? No, he could, you know? So, okay. I was like, yeah, like, I, I'll, I'll be 100% honest. I didn't think about inviting him right away just because he's just been so absent. And then um, someone mentioned it, one of the family members mentioned, oh, would you extend the invite? I said, I actually didn't think about it. I was like, yeah, I said, that's the right thing to do. So yeah. Um, but like I said, in the beginning, I, I really didn't think about inviting him because testing, testing, because he was just so absent, you know, and I haven't talked to him and I haven't seen him in like seven years. So it was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. So I extended the invite. I was like, yeah, you can go ahead and invite him and all that. I don't think that was my bad to say you can go ahead and invite him because that person asked him about it. So I figured they would talk to them and then they never told him about the birthday. And when the birthday came and lots of people were canceling um, and I never heard a peep if he was gonna show up or not, I actually was pissed because I said, damn, like you can't even put your pride aside and just show up for your mom. It's probably because it's at my house or maybe he has like a grudge against me. No, it's because he never found out about it and he was never told. <laughs> it was. It was disappointing because like all the presents were like from my friends. Um, yeah, they gave her pajamas, blankets, just like, you know, things she needed. Um, it just would have been nice like if people would have like helped me set up or at least like offer something like, hey, can we contribute to something? So we set everything up, paid for everything, got all the decor, did everything on our own. Um, no flowers sent for her, no nothing. And like I said, 
don't be mad because it is what it is. Just get over it. Just, you know, I think the main thing as like for people, a lot, a really hard thing is, is to take accountability. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's really hard for people to take accountability of a lot of things, a lot of actions and lack thereof. So yeah, so I told him, I was like, yeah, you didn't even show up. I said, I was talking so much shit about you. And I was honest, you know, because that's what it, life is too short uh, to go around now. You know what I mean? So I told him, I was like, yeah, I talked so much shit about you. I was like, you're a piece of crap. Like you can't even show up for He's like, what? He goes, I didn't even know about it. So, you know, and, and this is why it's good. We had this conversation because um, now everything's coming out in the open, you know, and, and I'm sure now the people that were telling him that or telling me or whatever, you have to eventually talk to him. And now they're telling him, oh, I hope she talks to you, whatever. Now they're probably annoyed that we're talking because now like gaps and things and, and stories and all that and things that have happened, not just stories, like straight facts are coming out. <laughs> like, hello. Yes, we are completing this circle today. Yes, we are. Um, but at the end of the day, honestly, I don't have any animosity towards anybody I really don't have time for that. Like, I don't have time for, I, I like I said, all I want to do is just do everything that I have to do for my mom. Like, I don't have to go, I don't need anything from anybody, you know? Like, I don't need apologies from anybody because that should come natural. Like, all of those types of things, you know? Because, um, yeah, at one point, like, my birth father, like, when I told him about different things, um... I'm sure some of you are just like, why do you keep calling him birth father? It's because that's what I feel comfortable with because my father, you know, in my heart passed away when I was a freshman in high school. And I, I literally just turned 15 when it happened. So he was the one who raised me, did everything with me, taught me everything like, you know, and this person, I really don't know. So that's why I say birth father, because that's literally the title and it's not to be mean or malicious, you know, and um, and if someone has a problem with it, I, I don't know what to tell you because this is what I feel comfortable with, you know, it's my life and it's all about boundaries, which I will say he's very good at keeping. He tells me like, let me know if I'm too pushy or if you just want to talk and vent. Like I said, it just flowed very well. And I actually was like crying to Glenn because I said, man, this is like exactly what I wanted. Like just such a smooth meeting, you know? And for someone to finally understand me and I can talk to was just like, whoo, God literally answered my prayers, you know? Um, but yeah, it felt really good. Like, like I said, I've only met with him one time. I've talked to him on the phone a couple of times. It's still very strange for me because at the end of the day, he's still a stranger. Um, so yeah, I still have my guard up. That's just how I've always been, you know? Because when you start getting disappointed from so many people within your life, I still have my guard up and, and that's natural, you know, so I'm just going to set around my face with the one size. Oh, damn. I wanted to use a new product. You know what? I'll do it another time. I'll do it another time. I'm too lazy to get my big brush. I'm just going to use a small brush. I'm in the shade medium four. I'm just going to set around. But yeah, um, I will say I'll let you in on like a little secret. Well, he called me and like I said, he's very good with boundaries. And he said, hey, like, I wanted to know, can I talk to you more? And I, it was just like so strange to like hear that question uh, because like he'll call and he'll check up on me and I'm not used to anybody doing that. You know, like he's trying to fulfill that father rule, which I'm not denying him and I understand it. I'm not like, oh, don't call me, don't try. Like, you know, I'm not going to knock him for that. I'm not that type of person either. Um, but also, you know, baby steps, I'm getting to know you. Um, he said, hey, I wanted to know if like, I can just call you more. I really enjoy talking to you. And I said, yeah. And it was a little awkward of a question because it came like right at the end of the convo. And I was like, because I had to go. I was cooking dinner for Glenn and his schedule has been so wild. Like I barely get to see him lately. Thank goodness it's ending very soon. But yeah. Um, and then he said, um, and, and then that was it. And it was like very nice. And then I talked to him like again, you know, I was just giving updates and things that we have to do like behind the scenes and all that. And um, I was telling him, um, whatever. And then he kind of went into a whole question of, Hey, like I actually wanted to ask you about social media, which I thought was very strange for him to ask me like right away, you know? 
Um, and then, well, because this is how he started off. He said, um, let me grab a lippy really quick. I'm just going to bend over. You guys, I'm going to work on my background because I need to have two lights so it can bring out the green because it's looking very dark. I totally get it. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to fix that because it's more vibrant in person, but the way the light is and like how there's nothing in the back, it makes it look darker. But like, I want the purples and the pinks to stand out. So I think I'm going to add more pink. I got this new Anastasia. I don't know why I bought this shit. It was just something where I was like, treat myself. <laughs> Uh, lip velvets I got off their PR list like a long time ago when I did a dupe video for their for the brow stylist <laughs> against their brow but I'm gonna do these two crush and peachy nude I'll show you what they look like separately they're, they're okay yeah they're okay I almost returned them but I was like uh, I'm too lazy <laughs> So here's Peachy Nude. I know, you have to wear it usually with a lip liner, but I'm too lazy to put on a lip liner. But when you mix it with like a pink gloss or whatever, it looks good. And then this one is Crush. It almost looks the same, right? This is Crush, but you can see the pinky tone in it. Um, and he asked me, um, hey, let me know like when you're available for like breakfast or lunch or something, like so we can go out or whatever. I was like, yeah, and then that's when he went into the, because I really want to talk to you about social media. Like, I had this and this and that some account or whatever with his wife, and and that's great, you know what I mean? I'm not knocking it. I'm not a hater. I was like, oh, yeah, that started asking, like, questions about, like, oh, maybe we can get together so I can write down some notes and take notes or whatever and just maybe make some, like, innocent money or whatever. And I think the conversation is okay, but I also feel like it's kind of strange to like ask someone right away when I've only met you like truly one time, like one meeting. So it kind of like put me off. It's something I have to discuss with my therapist because again, it's like one of those things where I'm like, uh, bye, I'm leaving. Um, so here's Crush on top. Looks very nice. The peach is looking kind of wild, I know. You guys, I got a lip flip, so look. It's kind of hard to like, like if you try to drink from a straw, let me show you. And I keep it real. This is why I didn't like it the first time, and this is probably why I won't do it. I don't know. We'll see, because I kind of like how full it looks. But look, and you go like this. It's kind of like this, like you have filler. So I have to go like this. I like, look cute from the side. But really, I'm like, like to go like this, it's kind of weird. Like, I really got to bring it in. Oh my gosh, the shit we try, right? I know, I can already just imagine the comments that people were thinking in their head, or am I possibly right? It's like, hey though, it's my lips. I'm gonna put more Crush. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just thought it was like kind of weird to ask like that type of question right away. Um, but again, baby steps, he doesn't really know me that well either, so it's maybe he's, this is what I'm thinking, he doesn't know what else to talk to me about. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just more of the topic of like, because it pertains to like money and business and all that. I was like, oh damn, it feels like a lot of other DMs from like past people that I've kind of known or acquaintances and all of a sudden they're asking me like questions about social media and I just think like, damn, I have not talked to you in how long? And don't get me wrong, like I'm all for helping people, you know, I totally get it. But at the same time, like if I haven't really talked, like damn, at least do like a little introduction, right? Like. And then asked me like a couple messages in, <laughs> not just like one full blown message. That's the only thing that kind of like gets annoying, you know? So I kind of felt like that weird vibe from him. Um, but yeah, it could be me just overthinking at the same time. Good news is I'm getting along with him. Things are going well. One thing, like I said, everything I think about and all my actions and everything and how I live my life is through my mom. Like how would my mom feel? My mom has honestly wanted me to talk to him for the longest that I never did. And that's probably the one thing that I'd never listened to her on, uh, just because it's very different. Nobody will understand where I'm coming from, my point of view, no one has my own mind, my heart, or how I feel, and no one can tell me how to feel. Like I remember before people would say, well, you have to talk to him, that's your dad. It's like, whoa, who are you to say that that's my dad when he hasn't even raised me? Like you have zero position to tell me how I feel, because I'm not tell you, telling you how to feel with certain things, you know? So it's just like strange. Let me grab like a blush or something. I feel kind of pale. Maybe I should just put a little bit more of that e.l.f., huh? Let me just see if it'll, but I did other powders, so that's I'm like, I'm scared. Let's just try one. Let's see, because I'm not trying to ruin two cheeks. I'm just going through the motions, you know? I feel like 
I'm becoming me. Every day I'm regaining my confidence because a lot of this shit broke me down, you guys. Like when you go through like a lot of life stuff and like, it's not just this, like Glenn and I, Glenn and I have gone through a lot, you know, it's just like one thing after the other, um, which I feel like a lot of people also fail to realize sometimes and it's not their responsibility, you know, but at the same time, like, damn, you're going to do this and say this to me after we just went through like so much shit and had so much loss, you know, I don't know. Um, but it is what it is. Like I said, that's like my phrase, like it is what it is. And I just have to accept it. And like I said, therapy has helped me kind of navigate that. And I'm just very, very blessed to have my therapy. I'm going to use Lash Princess. Um, I just ended up buying three of them on Amazon because they're $4.99 and it's like the best mascara ever and it's waterproof. And yeah, I don't know what else to say, honestly, like the other day. Oh, I finally announced it on Instagram. I think I kind of skipped that in the beginning and a lot of people didn't know. Um, it felt really good to get it off my chest. My therapist said that this is like another kind of step of acceptance, a grieving process. And just because you have grieving doesn't mean like, oh, that person had to pass. Like you can have, you know, grieving in other ways. Um, but yeah, and a lot of people wrote so many stories and how they're going through the same thing. And also you guys. And I, and I want to say thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for just telling me all these nice words and sending prayers for my mom and all that and my family. Um, I really appreciate it. And on Instagram, a ton of people sent so many different like links and organizations. And I was so bummed because I didn't know that Orange County had an Alzheimer's dementia walk. And it was literally this weekend. It was today, Saturday when I'm filming. And I was so sad because if I would have known, if I would have known earlier, I would have signed up. And Glenn has a crazy schedule and I'm kind of like, okay, should I just go alone? But I feel like mentally that just would have effed me up. Like I would have felt like, you know, just that that's a little bit too much on me. Like seeing everybody together as teams and here I am like walking with a bunch of strangers. Uh, I, I mentally just wouldn't be good for me. So I figured next year, if you guys want to participate, I want to plan to get a team together for my mom. So we can walk for Alzheimer's and dementia and whoever wants to come, you just register and you know I'll have my team and we'll all walk together and I think it would be, again, another positive kind of outlook. I was telling my therapist that's why she like almost started to cry because she's like, she's just happy that I'm trying to turn all these things into a positive and I've always been that way. Like I wanna be optimistic. I don't wanna be pessimistic. I'm tired of sad things. I'm tired of being unhappy. I wanna uplift as much as I can and that's who I truly am as a person. I never want anybody to take me out of character or make me feel a certain way because I'm, I'm tired of that, honestly. Damn, I got a lot of blush, but I love it. Let's try to um, press my lips together again just so I can give you a laugh. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, I definitely want to plan that next year. Um, and if you guys can please do me a favor and email ask sisters by choice some questions it's all open to dating marriage sexual questions all that obviously i don't want anything too crazy or offensive still ask it if i just don't answer it then i just don't answer it but you know i want it just to be open you know i want to talk about all these things because we're all sisters and we're sisters by choice so it's just like a podcast to you know kind of fill that part in your heart that you need and we all need that sisterhood we all need that person please email I would be very very appreciative you have no idea I will say I was a little disappointed because I got like three people who I've known in my life um to dm me and they sent me a dm and and I know they meant well but they're like oh we're so sorry for your mom's passing and I'm like I never said my mom died <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, and um, I made it very clear like in the beginning of like the video, like if anybody's going through this or something similar, like something in my heart really made me feel like I just want to say, you know, I'm going to put the video that I put on Instagram right now because I think then you'll kind of get a, because there's no copyright or anything. So let me put what I posted because I was having a moment. It was a very hard day for me.
There you go. I debated making this video today, but something inside of me said you should make this video so that you can send your love and prayers to anybody who's going through something similar so that you're not alone. My mom unfortunately has dementia. I have seen her throughout all my social media career, and I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of some of our conversation from today. Do you know my name? I like your all this so nice and neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know my name? Mm -hmm. What's my name? You just oh, said yeah. it. Yeah, I, I don't remember Lizzie. because Elizabeth. Because Lizzie. Elizabeth, Lizzie. Yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth, Lizzie. Uh huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty. <laughs> How my teeth look? They look good. Shiny white. Thank God, no. Woohoo! The number one thing that I'm most scared of is the day that she will forget me. And I know she won't forget me in her heart or her soul. Very scary. And I just want to send my love to any of you who have gone through something similar or currently going through. I posted that so that people know if I'm MIA, I'm not trying to be like funny or anything. I'm going through shit. You know what I mean? We all have ups and downs. And and trust me, I'm trying to get through the day. Um, so it kind of just like disappointed me because I made it very clear like she has dementia, you know. And it's like she didn't pass away. And it kind of just rubbed me the wrong way because... It's like I understand the message as well, but at the same time, like, damn, just listen to the first 15 seconds of the video. Um, so it was a little off-putting, you know, even my therapist talked to me about it, and she was just like, yeah, people are just inconsiderate. They just don't, they just do things just to do things without thinking, and, you know, we've already discussed it, so I'm, like, past it, but I just thought that was kind of crazy for me to, like, post that, and I'm like, where did you get the sense of my mom died from that video? <laughs> Like, there is nowhere of saying, rest in peace, she's an angel, she passed away, like, at all. Like, there is zero verbiage for you to think, yeah, yeah I was crying, but, I mean, <laughs> another new thing to discuss on my therapy sessions. Love the new topics that come every week. <laughs> it's like I have something to talk about every single week. Sometimes I feel like, I tell her, like, oh my gosh, like, when am I going to graduate? Like, I feel like I'm getting to this healing point, you know, obviously no one will ever be like 100% healed, but it seems like there's like new shit for me to talk about every single week, you guys. All my encounters or things that are said or whatever or things that are not said or discuss. It's like something every single week. It is mind blowing, but it's good though, because then I work through it and then I know how to handle and navigate when those things may occur again. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little get ready little cheese made part two everything went well everything's good like i'm oh my stomach's grumbling i'm gonna eat um a protein bar right now you guys i've been going to the gym like your girl's been losing weight getting strong um yeah i want to show some gym content i posted on my instagram i posted some gym content maybe i'll do a youtube shorts of what i posted but i was so damn shy to film in the gym because i'm not a fitness person but i also like to inspire because i want people to know people who have gained like a lot of weight like i went up two sizes you guys during covid and after just from all the stress and covid you know and depression and anxiety like i went up two sizes and i was at my heaviest and i was so miserable in my body not only how i looked but like how i felt like joint started to hurt i was breathing so hard all the time i naturally like i'm a mouth breather though, but but you know what i mean like it's because i wasn't healthy your girl was unhealthy i was so embarrassed like i set up my phone and i didn't get anybody in the shop because obviously like i can't and it's not allowed but i still like snuck it um when it was like because i go late so it's like not ver very it's not busy at all it's not crazy so i got myself and i was just so mortified like, even when there were people around, I'm like, oh my god, there's so many people. Like, why is everybody doing legs today? But I know a lot of people like doing legs. I want to do some fitness content on here, too. And also things I've been doing to lose weight that have really helped me. Um, yeah, and just, like, realistic goals. Because I know um, fitness journeys are super popular right now. Like, running, too. I know the Ozempic is very popular. Um, things like that. So if you're just trying to find, like, my stomach is grumbling. If you're trying to find, like, a natural way um of losing weight and also i don't know there's just something about achieving something on your own i know not everybody can do it due to um certain medical issues and health and all of that like so i'm not knocking anybody down who does it but i'm just saying like the people who can do it and can lose it naturally and all of that it's like it does something to your mind where you feel really accomplished and it helps you like with other things i think all of this has truly helped my mental health so much um, it was literally prescribed by my therapist because I don't want to go through the medication route. Um, I wanted to try everything that I could do without taking medication, which I have some friends that are on some things and that's great. It works out for them and I'm really happy. 
like I said, everybody's different. Everybody handles things different. Everybody heals different. Uh, so I'm, I'm not judging, trust me, because it, someone who's been judged and, and you know, you, you get judged online, obviously. So I've been judged for so many years and judged from your own family or whatever. Like I'm, I'm someone where I don't want to, um, you know, be the little reciprocal of that and judge back. Um, you know, especially after you have a family member who calls you a fat fucking bitch. Um, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to judge. It doesn't feel good, you know. Um, I was joking with my friend the other day. I said, oh, well, I'm getting all healthy and I'm going to the gym. Only took, you know, trauma to get me on this route. <laughs> but, you know, I tr like, I, I, I don't want to, like, make it into a joke. But, you know, I'm just trying to see the positive of it. And I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling really good. So a couple of you have DM'd me on Instagram saying, like, damn, I could see you, like, changing. Obviously, you have your days, ups and downs. And people who are going through, um currently you know everything with the dementia but oh damn did I skip that I feel like I'm all over the place but yeah it's just crazy to see it's very eye-opening to know and and also comforting not in like oh I'm happy everybody other people are going through it no it's like comforting to know like damn I'm not the only only one because you can think in the in the end why did this happen to me why is God putting me through this or why my family or why my mom she's the best you know you get through all this like mind f's of like questioning yourself questioning life questioning why 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 me why me why her why her all this stuff you know and it, it made me really sad to also realize how many people are going through this and it's it's very scary too because it's almost like you know like people used to say like oh like does cancer run in your family or this, it just feels like everybody has cancer in their family now you know and so the amount of stories that I saw of people that have shared on DMs I'm like damn it seems like just dementia is just like taking over as well and it's it's very scary you know it's very scary so we want to keep our health intact be healthy for ourselves I mean it's the highest form of respect to respect our one body. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a protein bar. I'm going to get ready for the gym. I've been so happy. I'm like getting addicted to the gym. Um, feels just so good because I just release, you know, and yeah, but I love you. Thank you for listening. Uh, please email ask sisters by choice at gmail.com, please. Any questions or even story times if you want to share like any of your story times or, you know, not like a bashing channel, you know, if you just want to spill like, <gasps> like shock factor stories, that's fine. You know, everything's like out in the open, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to talk about influencers, cele celebrities, like, I don't care. <laughs> um, we're here for a sisterhood, you know, to help, help ourselves, you know, and sometimes we do have to do a little bit of a gospel. Like, let me tell you like what so-and-so did. And oh my gosh, you know what my freaking aunt said to me, or you know what my cousin did to me or whatever. The platform is yours. Okay. So yeah, that is it. I love you and I'll see you beautiful fine apples, my beautiful sisters by choice in the next video. Mwah. Whoop.